G'day, today I'm going to show you how to log into the embedded JetDirect um, section of your printer. That way you can change the settings, particularly today I'm going to show you where the SMTP or scan to email settings are. So first of all you need to work out what the IP address of your machine is. To do that you can either go onto the printer itself um, through the menus by clicking administration information and then configuration page um, your printer will print out uh, about three or four pages on the third page there will be a report that's called the embedded jet direct page on that page down the right hand side check the ipv4 settings uh, it will have the first header there is the ip address so the ip address of this machine we're looking at is 192.168 .1.140 so we will just type that straight into a browser uh, the other way you can do it is by going on a computer that's actually got the printer installed on it to do that you want to go to the start menu click devices and printers mm, find the printer that you're actually looking at which in this case it's the 6040 do printer properties and then click on the ports tab the ports tab will show you where the IP addresses are so if you just open that first column up, you can see that it's 192.168.1.140. Just click on configure port and double check that this address here, so the printer name or IP address, is the actual address you want. See the top one's got an extra dash 2 after it. That's not it. So what you want to do then is you want to type this address into a web browser, which we will do uh, from Explorer. Type that into the web browser, paste, and it'll ask you if you want to continue past the security. You do that, and now we're logged into the actual printer. So you can change all your settings from here. What you want to look at, if we were looking particularly today at the SMTP or scan to email, is go to the digital sending tab and then click on email settings. And the problem to it is with your SMTP gateway. So you want to make sure that is um, your provider. So if it's BigPond, it would be mail.bigpond.com. And then you do test. Once you test it, it should verify. So BigPond is a valid gateway. And then you want to push apply down the bottom. And that way you've updated your gateway. Thank you for listening.